Okay, very good, Ron. 73, and thanks for the contact. God bless the United States of America. This is November 1, Yankee. You are dead. Victor Echo 3, United Kilowatt. Victor Echo 3, United Kilowatt. Please copy November 1, Yankee. 911 Special Event Station. My name is Ken, Kilo Echo November. And you're a 5959 five into uh, Hancock, New York, about 140 miles northwest uh, of Ground Zero. And please copy the following name. Lieutenant Jonas M. Panic of the United States Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Jonas M. Panic. Pronounce the name, they spell the name Papa Alpha November India Kilo. Victor Echo 3, UK. Number, this is November 1 Yankee. Back to you. Yep, November 1 Yankee from Victor Echo 3 United Kilowatt. Very good, Ken. Uh, you have uh, booming signal into Windsor, Ontario, just across the river from Detroit, Michigan. Name here is Bob. Bravo, Oscar, bravo. A lot of stations calling won't keep you. Keep up the good work. And uh, 73, N1Y, VE3, UK. Okay, 73, Bob. Thank you very much. God bless the United States of America. This is November 1, Yankee QRZ. Yankee QRZ, WA4 Whiskey Kilo Lima from Victor Echo 3 United Kilowatt. Thank you very much for the call. The voice here is getting a little hoarse, so I do appreciate it. The name here is Bob Bravo Oscar Bravo, and we are located just outside of Windsor, Ontario. And Windsor is across from Detroit, Michigan. <clears throat> How copy? WA4 WKL from Victor Echo 3 United Kilowatt. Roger, uh, Butch, uh, uh, WA4WKL from V3UK, yep. Um, the Detroit River uh, separates uh, downtown Windsor with downtown Detroit. I uh, make that trip uh, uh, at least weekly, if not a few times a month, uh, do some shopping, visit some friends, and things like that. You're about a 5x7 as well, 5x7, a little bit of QSB, a uh, little bit of QS Baker on the signal, but otherwise uh, solid coffee, Butch. Um, rig here is an SG2020, an SG2020, and I'm running maybe about uh, 15 watts output into a homebrew magnetic loop. So I was just uh, trying to give the, the loop a little bit of a workout here on 20 and just kind of see if it was uh, working. So I'm, got, I'm glad you came back to me here, Butch. Uh, I'll copy, WA4WKL, VE3, UK. Roger Butch, uh, very good, yeah. Um, so we're running about the same kind of power and the band seems to be uh, really quiet today. There were a few times where I tuned through and there was a little bit of activity and then all of a sudden it went dead and I thought, well, what the heck. If nobody's calling CQ, you never know, right? So I thought I'd give a, uh, uh, a shout out to, uh, you know, call CQ here and see if I could uh, raise someone. Uh, fine business on the, uh, on the uh, military transceiver. You tell me, I, I used to collect, uh, well, I used to be interested in them anyhow. I had a few in the years past. I'm just kind of curious uh, uh, exactly what transceiver that is. Uh, Butch, go ahead. Okay, uh, uh, I don't know what, the, uh, I didn't get the question. Uh, it's a backpack radio. Uh, they are some that are still in the military. It's a uh, solid state. Uh, it's rated at 100 watts. Uh, it can be configured to run Okay, yeah, no, that uh, answered my question pretty much. Uh, well, it's doing a, a fine job for you. The audio sounds good, and 
you know, considering the band conditions, you're a good solid copy into uh, southwestern Ontario. Anyway, but you won't hold it. I do appreciate you coming back to me, though. Um, I'm going to uh, do a little bit of work here and uh, may wait for the band to come a little bit more alive and uh, see what, uh, what else we can do. So uh, I'll say 7-3 for now, and uh, we'll look for you uh, further on down the log. Uh, WA4WKL from Victor Echo 3, United Kilowatt.